Now to a man making a much talked about return to the European tour. Paul Casey relinquished his card in 2015, but now he's back and Anna sat down in Abu Dhabi with a man clearly focused on winning his place in Thomas Bjorn's European Ryder Cup team in September. Paul, this is such an exciting year for you. You're back playing on the European Tour, which opens so many doors, namely the Ryder Cup. Now that it's here at the start of 2018, how are you feeling about the season ahead? I feel great. Uh, I really do. I've, I, you know, being away for three years, um, it was when I, when I first you know, stepped back, being at events such as the Open Championship um, back in the UK, uh, it was kind of pulling on sort of many emotions, uh, you know, heartstrings that I miss playing in a Ryder Cup, for example. Uh, knowing that I'm getting older, 40 now, there are not that many opportunities left for me. So I would dearly love to play another Ryder Cup, especially in Paris. I mean, what a scene that's going to be. Well, no player wants to be left to a captain's pick. Every player wants to play themselves onto that team. What's your plan to make that happen? If I continue to play the golf I've played the last couple of years, um, then Ryder Cup is the result of ticking off all the other goals. I mean, I want to win and get back in the winner's circle. Uh, that said a lot. I'm not going to be playing that much golf in Europe. I'm still focusing on the PGA Tour predominantly. Um, so I'm not going to have that many appearances, which makes it doubly difficult in a way. But I don't want to rely on a pick. But I'm also not going to focus on that, what's happening in September, too much and obsess about it. Even though that is, you know, pinned up on the goals, it's pretty much the top. Casey's 2018 bid to make his fourth Ryder Cup team began at a favourite venue. He's twice won in Abu Dhabi, most recently in 2009, the year after he made his last appearance for Europe. I, every win means a great deal, but uh, to get my second victory here in Abu Dhabi was, was really cool. It set up what was a, a fantastic year for me. I mean, at the time, I, you don't always know the magnitude of wins um, and what they mean. They mean a lot more sort of when your career kind of pans out, uh, especially this week when I haven't been back for a while. Paul finished tied ninth in Abu Dhabi, a solid start to what he hopes will be an exceptional year. We've got a, a slew of world ranking points that we're playing for, which guys are obviously keen, and that's, uh, that's a big motivating factor. You know, money is not always a motivating factor with guys. It's, it's, it's points. Um, but another reason guys like to play it, it guys who, who win here tend to have fantastic seasons. I mean, look at Tommy Fleetwood last season. Uh, it can be a springboard to a great season, so another reason for being here. Well, we saw you teeing it up in the Eurasia Cup recently. That was your first team event for almost 10 years, and I imagine it's not just the team aspect of it that you've missed, but it's also the friendships of the guys on the European tour as well. It's like being back at school um, after an extended break and catching up with friends and, and colleagues. You know, the friendships and, and life away from the sport, uh, or life in the sport, but not necessarily, you know, the winning aspect, is what it's all about. The experiences are the things that can never be taken away. And, uh, and I've had fantastic experiences all around the world, but certainly the ones in, in Europe um, on team events and, and not at team events have been some of the best. I guess if you don't step away, you don't get to experience the, the comeback as well. You know, I, I stepped away for the right reasons, but I'm coming back for the right reasons as well. Well, Paul, it's great to see you back playing on tour and best of luck for the year. Fingers crossed we'll see you there in Paris in September.